Welcome back to Grill This Smoke That. Today I have a very exciting video for you. We're making popcorn on the Blackstone. Yes, you heard that right. The tools we're gonna need for this cook are a measuring cup, a dome lid or something to put over the popcorn while it pops, two spatulas to get the popcorn off after it cooks. I have the two burners on this side turned on high. It is at 500 degrees. You need a bowl to put your popcorn in after it's popped, don't forget this. I have these two burners on and these two burners off. I'm gonna measure out two thirds cups of whole kernel popcorn. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil to the popcorn to coat it so that each piece is coated completely. Now I'm going to put a little bit of oil down on the griddle and smear it around some. And I'm gonna pour my popcorn on and smooth it out flat. Get that good surface contact for all the kernels. And now I wanna take my dome and put it over the top and I'm gonna keep these kernels moving. I'm gonna put a little more oil around the edges here. And I'm gonna keep it moving until it pops. A lot of you ask about this spatula holder. It's called the Blackstone tool holder. We found it at Walmart. It came with that plus three of these. I'll put a link to that tool holder and the other things I'm using today in the description and in the pinned comment so you can buy them if you want. I can hear it starting to pop. This is exciting. You want to keep it moving around because you don't want those kernels after they pop the white fluffy corn to touch the grill too long or it'll burn. Whoa, I shouldn't have picked it up. <laughs> While this finishes popping, it'd be awesome if you'd hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. All right, moment of truth. Still popping. So now I need to get this popcorn off of this hot side. I've had this side turned off the entire time so I can move it over here. The key ingredient to good popcorn or movie theater quality popcorn is the salt and Flavacol has great salt. Absolutely not sponsored, I just did some research uh, because I'm a popcorn fiend. I cooked it every night for about a year, but uh, I put it in a empty pepper shaker. This is like a McCormick's coarse ground pepper shaker. So I can easily sprinkle it on there and I can mix it up. You could put butter on it if you want to, but honestly with the flavor call, you don't need any extra butter in there. Now I just need to take my spatulas here and use them like a scoop and get it into the bowl. And it's time for movie night. This popcorn looks amazing. Let's eat. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I post weekly videos of meals cooked on the Blackstone or the Big Green Egg. You can click any of the videos shown on the screen right now and they'll open right up on your device. If you're interested in a t-shirt, check the description for a link to t-shirts or to all the supplies that I used in the video. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day.